Hey guys, Dr. Polly. Uh, we're going to do exercise four. And exercise four, again, is in metric, so we got to make sure that we switch over. Um, don't make the same mistake that uh, we did in exercise three. And if you look, uh, we're going to use um, a linear pattern to uh, replicate these little squares. And I'm going to show you how to do two directions on a linear pattern and how to keep only the ones that will actually fully work in your shape. So the first thing we're going to do, again, this is the front view, top view, right side. The best view to go ahead and start drawing from is the front, so I'll start my sketch on the front plane. I'm going to draw this L. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the fillets on it. I'll extrude it. Uh, then we'll create this uh, cut, and the cut only goes 10 in. Uh, so we'll create this cut, and then we'll do a pattern and then we'll knock it out with the, uh, with the bossed slot here and the two tapped holes. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and change over to metric, uh, millimeters, gram, second. Uh, I'm going to say we're going to do an extrusion on the front plane, and I'm going to draw the L. And I'm going to start down here, and I will draw that L like so. Notice my uh, geometric constraints, the only ones I really wanted were the verticals and horizontals to make sure everything's straight and 90 degrees. Uh, so let's dimension. The height of this is 160 millimeters. The width is 130. Uh, this is 40. Uh, this is also 40 here. And if you notice now it's fully constrained or fully defined. I'm going to go ahead and knock out those corners. Uh, those fillets are 10 millimeters, and so I'll just knock out this corner, this corner, there, 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 and there. It's considered a round if it knocks off a corner, and if it fills in a, a corner, it's called a fillet. But it's all done with the fillet tool because there's no use having two tools that do the same thing. And so there's not going to be a fillet tool and a round tool. All right, so we're going to finish that. There's the basic shape. Notice it's fully defined. I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to extrude that 25, and there's the basic shape. Now the next part is I'm going to do a cut, extruded cut on this surface, and I'm going to sketch out a square. So I'm going to do a centered rectangle. I'm going to dimension that rectangle, and they are 20 by 20. So there's 20, and there's 20. Now we're going to knock off the, um, the corners with uh, the fillets, and the fillets are five. So let's knock off this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner, and say OK. You'll see there's my, my shape. Now let's position it. It says that this side to this side is 10, and from here to here. Is also 10. Now we're fully defined. I'm good. I finished my sketch. It's going to say it wants to go ahead and extrude, cut. Uh, the depth of that cut is only 10. And so there we go. And so there's my feature. Now let's go ahead and replicate that using a linear pattern in feature mode. Again, we're not in a sketch, so we're using feature mode. So linear pattern. Now, unlike sketches where it says it's, there's an X and a Y, which is a north-south, east-west um, coordinate system, when you're dealing in a feature, you can have directions in all, you know, all, I mean, you can have lines in all directions. And I don't necessarily always want to go, you know, straight up and down and left and right. So it lets you select the directions. So my first direction, I'm going to pick something that goes that direction. So I'm going to pick this top line, and that will be my... Uh, direction one. Now, how many instances of this little square do I want? I would need four total, and the distance between those is 30 millimeters. Okay, now direction two, we'll click here, and which direction do I want that to go? I want that to go along this line here, so I'm going to select that line. Maybe. Oh, that's featured. I'm sorry. I missed. Direction 2. It was collapsed. If that ever happens, just click this little arrow. Uh, direction 2, it's this direction. Um, spacing again is 30 
but there's only three of them. Now, uh, here for features and faces, I'm going to pick my feature. And I'll just go here to my drop down and I will pick that cut extrusion. And you'll notice that it's kind of gone crazy here. Oh, because I did 13 instead of 3. That'll do it. Now, notice that uh, this direction is right. This direction is not working. So that's direction 1. And I can click this little button right here to reverse the direction. Now, if you look at this thing straight on, you'll notice that these are the only ones that really we really want. And the rest of them don't really fit into place. So what we're going to do under direction 2, you'll see something called pattern seat only. In other words, it will only keep the ones that fully fit onto your shape. So I'm going to click pattern seat only, and it will get rid of all the other ones. So it will only keep these seven, which are the ones I want. And that's good, so I'll say OK. And if we look, there they are. So the only other thing I need to do now is that slot here. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be an extruded boss there. I'll use my uh, slot tool. I'm going to line up kind of with the center here. Uh, go straight up. Come out. Um, it is centered. This is 15 wide. And the distance between uh, the centers is 40. Now let's center that. So I'm going to grab this point, hold control, and I'm going to grab the midpoint here, and I'm going to align those vertically. <coughs> Excuse me. So that centers everything uh, this way. Now the next thing is, is that it says that dimension from the center to the bottom is located uh, 15 millimeters up. So there we go. Notice now we're fully defined. I'm going to finish that sketch. Uh, the depth of this is 10, which is by default 10, so I'll say OK. And there is that. Now the next thing we got to do is put those holes here, those tapped holes. Those tapped holes share the same centers as these arcs. So once I um, do this hole, um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's ANSI metric, straight tap, tapped hole. Size on that is uh, metric 6. The one pitch. Uh, I think it says yeah, leave default default settings. And so now I'm gonna go over to position. I'm gonna hover. Uh, I got to pick the plane. So I'm gonna pick that face. I'm gonna hover. There's that center. Hover over this one. Snap to that center. Say OK. And there is uh, the tap holes. There are the tap holes. That English. Now, uh, the only other thing we have to look at is that the material here is ABS. ABS is a plastic. So I'm going to right click on material, edit material, uh, go down here to plastics, and there's ABS right there, and I'm going to apply it. And so now it is now ABS. And we are finished with exercise four.